write down the equations of the asymptotes of h so h is some function h of x is equals to minus 3 divided by x minus 1 plus 2 right uh, we know fully well that you cannot divide with 0 right and then here on our equation h of x we have minus 3 divided by x minus 1 right so if we say that uh, for 4.1.1 uh, x minus 1 is equals to 0 then when we solve for x we're gonna have our vertical asymptote because we know fully well that uh, we can never divide by 0 so if we solve that we're gonna have x is equals to 1 and then now our vertical asymptote is x is equals to 1 now what is left for us to find it's our horizontal asymptote now I want you to realize that for y to be 2 we would need this part here to be equals to 0 right but then since that part can never be equals to 0 then there is no way y can be 2 so that tells us that our horizontal asymptote is y is equals to 2 all the time this number here in a hyperbola will always be your horizontal asymptote and then if you want to find your vertical asymptote you take this denominator here and equate it to zero and you're going to find your asymptote and then let's do 4.2.2 so 4.2.2 is saying that let's determine the equation of the axis of symmetry of h that is a negative gradient right so we can only have two axes of symmetry uh one being y is equals to minus x plus c and then another one being y is equals to x plus c but then this equation is very precise it is saying that uh, the one that has a negative gradient so we go in uh, with this first equation here if we were looking for the one with the positive then we're gonna use uh, the other one so now we can already see here that we have a gradient of minus one right to find the equation we need a point that we can substitute so which point do you substitute when you look in for the axis of symmetry you substitute the asymptotes right because we know that x is one and y is two that's the point you substitute when you want to find the axis of symmetry you use uh, the asymptotes so if we substitute that in our equation we're gonna have 2 being equals to minus in place of x we have 1 plus c it should be easy to see now that uh, 3 is going to be equals to c so our equation for the axis of symmetry will be y is equals to minus x plus 3 right and then uh, the last question is saying that let's sketch the graph of h right uh, showing the asymptotes and the intercept with the axis as soon as the question says let's sketch a graph we know we're going to need the intercepts and we're going to need the asymptotes whether it's as for or not but then let's just uh, go ahead and answer the question so we have 4.2.3 and then our axis uh, let's have uh, our y axis there and then let's have our um, x axis right and then um, we're looking for the asymptotes and the intercepts so we know where the uh, vertical asymptote is right uh, the vertical asymptote is x is equals to so we have x is equals to one here our vertical asymptote is here at one right so uh, let me just indicate it there uh, by dotted lines and the horizontal asymptote is at 2 so we also gonna indicate uh, that by dotted lines right uh, so now we just need our intercepts and we're done so let's see uh, y intercept if we're looking for y intercept we know fully well that we let x be equals to 0 right so we're gonna have y being equals to minus 3 are uh, we substituting x is equals to zero in our equation uh, divided by uh, minus one plus two so y is going to be equals to three plus two which is equals to five and then um, let's just put that in our graph before we go any further uh, so y is equals to five should be somewhere here right so let's just uh, put it there 
and then now let's look for the x intercept for the x intercept will 18 y be equals to 0 right so we have 0 being equals to minus 3 divided by x minus 1 plus 2 uh, we're gonna take 2 to the other side we're gonna get uh, minus 2 being equals to minus 3 divided by x minus 1 so we're going to cross multiply and get uh, minus 2x plus 2 being equals to minus 3 so minus 2x is equals to minus 5 so x is equals to 5 divided by 2 5 divided by 2 uh, that's 2.5 right so 2.5 should be somewhere here so let's just indicate that uh, this is the x-axis and then uh, this is uh, the y-axis so we can see now that our graph is supposed to go through uh, this point here five right and then how does it go through five without touching the asymptotes? tools it has to look uh, something of this manner right that's the only way it can go through five without touching the asymptotes. tools and then how can it go through five divided by two without touching the asymptotes? tools uh, it should look something of this manner